Hi, my name is Marta Garcia Acevedo. I hold a bachelor's degree in computer engineering and a master's in data science. I have uh, 20 years of experience in the field in roles such as developer, system analyst, software architect, data scientist, and um, team manager. I'm working as IT officer at FAO in the digital FAO and agroinformatics division, leading a team responsible for delivering solutions for food and agriculture using statistics, data visualization, and artificial intelligence. Usually I have team meetings to review project progress and identify issues. Then I have meetings with users from different fields to discuss their business needs and analyze the best technological options to solve them. Based on that, we propose a high level ar solution architecture. I usually analyze the data available for our projects and prepare presentations and write reports for promoting AI at FAO. Another important part of my job is researching new techniques and ensuring that the organization's best practices are followed throughout the software life cycle. Yes, sadly, stereotypes are very common for women in technology. Uh, when I was 27 years old, I was assigned as an integration architect to a project. When the project began, I wasn't invited to the first meeting. Uh, instead, the invitation was sent to one of my colleagues, a male, a bit older than me. He went and clarified that I was the person assigned to the project. Uh, regardless, he was also invited to the other, and I wasn't. Uh, so at the moment, we didn't understand why, but my colleague forwarded me the invites, and I attended the meetings, and I continued with the project. Sometime later, the project architect told me that he didn't invite me to those initial meetings on purpose, because he saw uh, my photo in Outlook, and he thought that such a young and pretty girl wouldn't be a fit for the role. So he apologized about it because he realized that he was really wrong about it. <laughs> to overcome this uh, challenge, I work hard. I demonstrated my technical skills and I successfully finished the project. I contribute as much or even more than my older male colleagues. I consider that facing stereotypes made things more difficult for me but also made me want to study more, to work harder, because I wanted to show that I was capable of uh, achieving my goals. I just took those moments as opportunities. To overcome stereotypes like the one where people assume that women are less skilled or capable than men in technical fields, I consider that it's important to be confident, believe in yourself and in your abilities, and be perseverant. Don't be intimidated by being the only woman in the room. Participating in associations and networking groups that focus on supporting women in technology, like Girls Who Code and Women in Data Science. Um, supporting mentorship programs for women in tech, uh, sharing stories of successful women in technological fields. I consider that efforts for a more inclusive and diverse tech community should begin at home. Uh, become a role model for the young girls in your family. Foster your sisters, nieces, or daughters' interest in technology through games, toys, and books. Uh, encourage them to study technological subjects. Uh, even with uh, small actions, we can contribute to a change. <laughs>